Hey guys, and welcome back to another Fun Friday Idea with me, Susan Morgan, your speech language pathologist. It's summertime, so we're gonna go ahead and make sure that you're getting outside by making some bubble wands today. They get you looking up, they get you looking down, they get you looking all around, they get your arms reaching and your body engaged with all sorts of great big motor movements. They also get you talking. You can't help but say pop when you pop those bubbles or stomp when you stomp them with your feet. Get your whole body involved. Reach those hands up high, stomp those feet down low, cover the world with bubbles, and then also try blowing just a few. <gasps> what happens when there's just one? Uh-oh, we need more. Again, use that flexible language, have some fun, and get messy. These bubble wands are a great fine motor activity as we're sliding those beads onto the pipe cleaner after we've twisted it together. You can even go ahead and try and make different shapes and see which shape makes better bubbles. I'm also going to be using some homemade bubble juice later, so I'll give you the recipe on my website, and you can try and do that too. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so making a pipe cleaner bubble wand doesn't take very many supplies. You probably have them in your craft drawer right now. I know I did. Some pipe cleaners and some beads. That's all it takes. First thing you want to do is go ahead, fold, start to fold your pipe cleaner in half. Pinch it up towards the top there, towards the bend, and twist, twist, twist. Keep twisting all the way down to the end. Again, this is a great pincer grasp activity where you're twist, 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 twisting. Works those fine muscles in your hands and wrist. After you're done twisting, go ahead and start adding your beads. It might be nice to try and think of a pattern that you want to do with your beads. I'm gonna go ahead and I actually feel like after I put a couple of beads on, I'm gonna do this black one first, get that good circle there for that bubble wand. And then I'm gonna add a flower and go with a rainbow, cause I love rainbows, especially in June. So we'll go with the pink, we'll go with an orange, we'll go with a yellow, we'll go with a green, and then a blue, and last I find a purple. I have some more room. I might as well go and do that rainbow again. This time I'm going to reverse the rainbow and change my pattern. Reverse the rainbow purple, and then we'll go with blue, green, yellow, orange, and pink. Beautiful. Now this last one I want to try and just curl the ends of that bubble wand over so my beads don't fall off. Curl, curl, curl. That might be a little sharp just to give you a heads up because it does have the wire there. So just be careful. And there we go. And we have a bubble wand. Now if you want to get real tricky, I haven't tested this out, but maybe instead of a circle, we could do a different shape. Let's see if we can give that a try. Let's see, I'm gonna try for a star. Let's see if I can make a star. And we have two bubble wands to go test out. Which one do you think is going to work better, the circle or the star? Let's go find out. Here we are outside in the beautiful sun. Let's see how our bubbles work with our homemade bubble juice. Go ahead and dip it on in there. Tap some, oh, there goes one already. <laughs> Tap some of the excess off. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> there they go. It's a little windy out here today, so my bubbles aren't really staying around. The wind is popping them pretty quick. Let's give the star one a try and see how this works. 
Ooh, so gooey, so gooey. <laughs> the wind is taking them off before I have a chance to. There they go. Whoa. <laughs> I think the star one might be working a little better. <laughs> that was fun make sure you get out have some fun this week and i will see you next week